Hey everybody, how are you guys? Welcome to Worm Wednesday. Uh, this week we're gonna do something a little different. I actually bought something for the worm bag and I'm gonna show you guys it and give you my initial thoughts on it. And from there, I'll, I'll go ahead and do my normal worm feeding and everything. But the thing I bought is, it's upside down, of course. It's probably gonna spill. It is, uh, Frabel Super Grow Worm Bedding. I got it off Amazon and I was just, I bought it because I was curious to know what it was. Well, I'm gonna do this so that way you don't have to do the same thing. You won't be buying out of curiosity. This is what it looks like. It is just paper. Really finely shredded and chewed up paper. Which is cool, whatever. Uh, I just didn't know what it was and I was curious so I wanted to check it out. Sometimes I don't like sifting peat moss and, and using peat or cocoa core. So having that on hand will make it, make it pretty easier. I did not follow the directions for putting this stuff together. I just soaked it in water and I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'll show you what it looks like soaked in water and give you a little bit of a talking to about it. Okay, so here it is in my handy dandy bucket of water. It is very absorbent sure you can hear and see the water coming out of it i think it'll make a pretty nice bedding um i think mixed up with some cocoa core or some peat would be awesome to kind of fluff it up a little bit the directions say so the directions say to mix one and a half quarts of water to each pound of this worm bedding um i didn't do that obviously i just dumped in some water and put that in there so it's probably a little bit wet because I know I didn't even get a pound of bedding in there, but that's fine. By the time I mix it with cardboard and everything else I use for bedding, it'll be just fine. Um, so again, that's the Fraybill Super Grow Worm Bedding. I'll put a link to it in the uh, descriptions if you're interested in checking it out as well. But let's get on with the regular worm. Say worm. Uh -huh. Worm. All right, going into the vermi bag. If you remember last week, I fed this thing a, a huge piece of watermelon rind. And it was not buried up very deep. But by golly, that thing is just about gone. There's a little bit over here, but man, these worms, they did a number on it. I did not think I was going to have to feed them today. Just based on the sheer size of that watermelon feeding that I've given them, but as you can see, there ain't very much watermelon left in there. There ain't very much of nothing left in there. What is that? Oh, an old apple. Of course an old apple because the thing wasn't popped open, so let's pop that open. Man, these worms, they, that apple's been in there longer than that watermelon has, so they, uh, they really like that watermelon. There's some melon. Not a whole lot of it left. All right, there's some more cardboard, some melon rinds. Look at all those worms, guys. See what these euros are doing pretty dang good. There's a ball of European night crawlers. Looking good, guys. So there is enough melon in there that I don't think I need to feed them this week. I could probably feed them without any problems. Um, but I don't necessarily have to. So I'm gonna take a break right here and think about what I wanna do if I, well, I'll come back no matter what I decide to do. All right, I'll talk to y'all in a few. What? Uh, Worm? Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, so I went ahead and decided to feed the worms. I'm not feeding them heavily. Um, just a banana peel and some green beans. This stuff sprinkled on top is garden lime to provide some grit for the worms. Not a real heavy feeding. There's still a little bit of watermelon in there and there's lots of bedding and I am about to add more bedding. 
So that will make this week's feeding, I mean, fairly large if you factor in bedding. So for bedding, I've got the, the Frable stuff I showed you earlier. I've got a couple of drink containers. No, these are egg containers, the paper-based egg containers. And I'm going to dump that in. Pretty good amount of bedding, but really it's just paper. Um, so we'll see what it does next week. Let me go ahead and dump that in there. Get everything good and covered up. So I am convinced that this may dry out some through the week because it's just paper-based bedding and it's not super wet. So I will check on it through the week and if it looks like it's dry, I'll throw some, some water on it. Um, as you can see, some of the stuff is dry putting it in here. So we're just gonna see what happens. But one thing I do wanna show y'all, if you have a big worm bag, do yourself a favor and get a garden sprayer from Tractor Supply or Harbor Freight, Amazon. I'll link one in the description so you'll know what I'm talking about. Just so you can keep uh, water on hand. One thing I like to do is fill that thing up with water and leave the cap off of it for a couple of days to let the chlorine dissipate from the water. It will help stop killing off your microbes in the soil when you dump it in there. But there we go, guys. That's the worm bag feeding, and I will see you next week.